Hello everybody. We'll just wait to see who is joining in. Hi guys. How are you all doing? Good to see so many people joining. Hi there. How is everyone getting on? Is everyone doing well? Everyone enjoying being at home? Okay guys, so we have got an upper body workout today. So we will be using um, whatever you have at home, whether that's dumbbells, whether it is, I've got a couple of uh, tins over here. So we've got some tins of tomatoes, which you can use as dumbbells, but I'll be using big water bottles. So if you guys want to make sure that you've got something that you can use, and then we can just start with a little warm up, and then we will get going. So I'm just going to pop you down here now and then get into some space. So make sure you have got some space and we will start with a little bit of a warm up. So I'm just going to circle the arms backwards, getting nice and warm. And then reversing that circle the other way. Good. relaxing the arms down, just rolling the shoulders. So today we're going to start with a bit of a shoulder session and then rotate them the other way. And then we're going to go into a bit of chest, a bit of arms, and then we have got a cardio finisher for you. So just making sure then we're going to just warm up the shoulders a little bit more. So hands are going to start just together in front of you. You're just going to raise your arms up to the side and then back down again. Nice and easy, just getting those shoulders warmed up. Keeping that posture nice and tall. Keeping that moving. Lovely work. And then we're going to imagine that we're pressing up towards the ceiling and then back down. So keeping that nice T-shape here, pressing up and coming back down. Lovely work, guys. Five seconds, four, three, two and one okay so hopefully we are all nice and warmed up now we are going to do exactly what we did yesterday so we're going to be doing a bit of a tabata style so we'll be doing work for 40 seconds and then resting for 20 seconds so our first round is going to be shoulders we're going to start here with a shoulder press so what i will do just as the same as yesterday i will demonstrate the movements for you um, and then hopefully you will be able to do them at home so starting with our shoulder press, we'll then go into some lateral raises, and then we're gonna come into around the world. So just to demonstrate these for you, I've got my uh, pretend weights. So shoulder pressing, just in that T shape again, just like we did before. So you're gonna breathe out as you press up, breathe in as you come back down. So this time, I want you to focus on a three second lowering phase, and then push up. So three seconds down and up. So that is your first exercise in this round. Second exercise is a lateral raise. So what I want you to do, have a little look at my arms here. You're coming almost diagonal here as you raise your arms. So no out to the side, we want a nice diagonal one. So this is your lateral raise. But we wanna make it slightly harder, so we're gonna be doing one and a quarter raises. So up, and then down. So you see you've got your one and your quarter raise. And then lastly, our final exercise in this round are going to be around the world. So starting with your arms down by your legs, you're then gonna bring your arms up to the top and back down. So that's one lateral raise, one, sorry, around the world raise. So keeping that going. So that is our first round. I hope you guys are ready. I'll just get my timer up. So remember, our shoulder press has got that three second lowering phase. Our lateral raises are one and a quarter raises. And then we have our around the world. So we're gonna do this twice round, just like we did yesterday. So are you guys ready? Grab those pretend weights that we have. Getting that timer ready. 40 seconds of our shoulder presses. Off we go. So breathing out as you push up and then three second lowering. Breathe out, three second lowering. 
Good, so we're working here, time under tension, really using those muscles. Breathe out as you press up, breathe in as they come down. Lovely work, guys. You're halfway there. Keeping that moving, you want to keep the shoulders working, keeping that tension. Nearly there. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. Keeping those elbows up nice and high, don't let them drop. For three, two, and one. All right, 20 seconds rest now before we go into those lateral raises. So remember, you've got your one and a quarter raises. If you prefer to do it with bent elbows, it will make it slightly easier. So raising up like this, entirely up to you. All right, we're going in three, two, and one. So we've got our one and a quarter raise. One and quarter. <laughs> Excellent work. So you should be starting to feel this burning in the shoulders a little bit. Excellent work. One and a quarter, remember. Keeping that tension going. We're over halfway, so keeping that moving if you can. Lovely work, guys. Ten seconds left here. Nearly there for five, four, three, two, and one. Have that little rest. How's everyone's shoulders feeling? Mine are burning a little bit, but I did do this yesterday as well to test it out. So, remember we are going into our Around the Worlds now. So, we've got just about over five seconds. Starting with your arms down by your legs in three, two, and one. So bring the arms together at the top and then bringing them down together at the bottom. Keeping that moving. Focusing again on time under tension. If you calm down a little bit slower, you'll really start to feel those muscles burning. You'll be working them a little bit harder. Keep that tension. Excellent work, guys. You're over halfway on this one. We're nearly there. Keeping that going if we can. Keep it moving. Nearly there, guys. Well done. For five, four, three, two, and one. Have a quick rest. How are you feeling? That's your first round of shoulders complete. We've got one more to go. So coming back with those shoulder presses to start with. Remember, we've got our three-second lowering phase. We're going again in five, four, three, two, and one, so breathe out as you press up. Breathing in as you come down for three. <sighs> Lovely work guys, remember keeping those elbows up. Don't let the elbows drop, you wanna keep them up nice and high. Excellent work, 20 seconds left. We're over halfway. Well done guys, nearly there. You've got 10 seconds left before we come into those lateral raises. In five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, 20 seconds rest before we come into lateral raises. How's everyone feeling? Cameron, this is really good. Thank you Cameron, I hope you're enjoying it. Okay guys, we're going in just under 10 seconds, so those one and a quarter lateral raises. Getting ready to go in three, two, and one. So bringing those arms out almost diagonally. There we go, so we've got our one and our quarter. So trying to maintain really good posture here. Shoulders back. Excellent work, guys. We are halfway, nearly there. Whose shoulders are burning? Keeping this going. You've got this, guys. I know you can do it. Keep pushing through that burn, working into strengthening those shoulders here. In five, four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds rest. Well done, guys. So we've now got our around the world again. Arms are aching. Good. This is what we like. <laughs> Amazing, guys. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Okay, so we've got just over five seconds before we're coming into those around the world. Are we ready? In two, one, off we go. So arms are coming all the way up and then they're coming back together at the bottom. So 
So breathing out as we come up, breathing in as they go down. So remember, if you want to make this harder for yourself, your lowering phase can be slower. So bring them down slowly. So that time under tension is really going to be working into those arms. We are nearly there. We've got about 10 seconds left. In three, two, and one. Well done guys, have a rest. How is everyone feeling? Nathan says, my mum's enjoying it. That's amazing. I hope everyone's getting as many people from their family involved as they can. So, I don't really know why I've programmed this next part for myself because we did do some press ups yesterday. But we're now onto our chest se section of the workout. So we will be starting with press ups. So just like we did yesterday, I will show you, you can either do your full press ups or your half press ups. I am gonna be doing half press ups. I don't know how, how well I'll last. Um, we will then be going onto a chest press. So we're keeping hold of those water bottles. We'll be lying down onto the floor and then we're gonna go into chest flies. So just like we did before, we have got 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, two rounds. So, if I move down onto the floor, hopefully you'll be able to see me. So we're gonna start with those press ups. I'm just gonna bring the timer down onto the floor so that I can still see the timings. Resetting that. So starting with our press ups, of course, we have, you can either do your full press up or you can come down onto your knees and do your half press up. So remember we're doing 40 seconds. We will then be coming into our chest press. So you're going to be lying down onto your back, grabbing hold of your weights, starting with your arms up towards the ceiling. You're gonna breathe in as you lower down, just tapping your elbows onto the floor. Breathe out as you press up. So again, we're gonna focus on that lowering phase because that's gonna put more tension onto our chest muscles. Our final exercise is chest fly, so we're gonna change the direction of our hands and then we're gonna open our arms out and then you're gonna breathe out. Imagine you're hugging a tree. So breathing in, open the arms up. Breathe out, hug that tree. Okay guys, are we ready? We're gonna start with those press ups. We've got 40 seconds. Off we go. Coming into our press ups now. Breathing in as you lower down, breathe out as you push up. Excellent work guys, keeping that going. We are over halfway, keeping that moving if we can. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done team, we've done it. We've made it through round one of the press ups. So now lying onto your back, we're coming into those chest presses. So grabbing hold of your little weights. So we are going in three, two, and one. So we're gonna breathe in as we open the arms up, touching those elbows onto the floor. Breathe out as we press up. So breathing in, they come down. Breathe out, press up. If you want to make this harder, slowing that lowering phase down and then pressing up. Try not to relax the arms down at the bottom. You want to keep that tension, so try not to let the arms touch the floor too heavily. Just imagine we're tapping those elbows onto the floor. For five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work, guys. So we're now coming into those chest flies. So staying down where we are, We've got just under 15 seconds before we're coming into our flies, so remember changing the direction of the hands. Lying down onto your back, we're going in five, four, three, two, and one. So breathing in, lowering down, breathe out. Imagine you're hugging that tree. Breathing in and breathe out. Try and keep those water bottles or your weights, whatever you are using, over your chest. You don't want them to be going out behind you keeping them just above the chest here. 
You're halfway through this one. Keeping that going. 10 more seconds here, guys. We're nearly there. And relax. Well done, guys. We've made it through round one of chest. So, getting back into position, ready for those press-ups. We're going in 10 seconds. Are you ready? 40 seconds is your last 40 seconds of press-ups. So, getting ready. We're going in three, two, one, off we go. So remember, breathing in, coming down, breathe out as you press up. If at any point it gets too much and you need to have a rest, please do. Otherwise, keep pushing if you can, you're currently halfway. Excellent work team, 10 seconds left, we're nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. You made it, well done. So, lying down onto your back now, we're coming back into those chest presses. So, when you're ready, we've got 10 seconds before we go again. In five, four, three, Two and one. So breathing in, coming down, breathe out, press up. And remember, making that harder, we can slow that lowering phase down and then push up. Again, try not to let the elbows come back. You want to keep them nice and parallel, keep those bottles directly over your chest. Halfway there, guys, well done. Nearly there, we've got 10 seconds left here. And then we're coming into those flies. Three, two, and one. Having a little rest. Well done guys, hopefully you are enjoying this. We've got one more round left in the chest section. We will then be going into arms. So you've got 10 seconds before we go into those flies. All right, we're going in five, four, three, two and one so remember opening those arms out nice and wide breathe out as you hug that tree so breathing in the arms are coming wide breathe out hugging the tree again if you want to make this harder for yourself you can slow down that lowering phase so nice and slow here putting tension onto those chest muscles And just like before, making sure we're keeping those bottles directly over the chest. We don't want them going back too far, we don't want them coming down too far, just directly over the chest. We're stopping in five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, team. We've made it. How is everyone feeling? Did everyone enjoy that? We're just quickly having a little break now, so if you need to grab some water, please do. We are then going to come into our arms. So we've got bicep curls and tricep extensions. So we're keeping hold of these lovely weights. So nice and simple, just as before, I will show you how to do a bicep curl and then a tricep extension. So I'm gonna move the, uh, the timer up here so that I can see it again. So our bicep curls, we're going to have our arms down by our sides. Breathing out as you curl up, breathe in as you relax. So notice that my elbows are stuck to my sides. I don't want to see any arms sort of flapping around. So keep those elbows nice and stuck to your sides. Again, if you want to make it harder, slow down that lowering phase. Tricep extensions. So you need maybe an edge of a sofa or a coffee table. I'm obviously going to use my little window ledge because I'm quite lucky that I've got this here. And we're going to be using one arm to support ourselves and the other arm is going to be working. So, I've got one arm supporting me here. This elbow is staying up nice and tight to my sides. You're gonna breathe out as you extend the arm straight. Breathe in as you bend it. I don't want arms slipping down here. We wanna keep that elbow nice and tight to the side. 
So you see only my forearm is moving. We don't want any of this. We just want the tricep to be working. So, are we ready? We've just got those two exercises for our arms. We're gonna do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, twice round. Then we are on to our cardio finisher, and then we're done. So nice and easy. Okay, guys. When we're ready, starting on those bicep curls, get yourself into some space. We are going in three, two, one. Off we go. So breathe out as you curl up, and then breathing in as you release. So breathe out. Remember, elbows are staying nice and close to the side here. We don't want them out here. So you're actually working into those biceps. Remember, if you want to make this harder for yourself, slow down that lowering phase. That's going to put time under tension onto those muscles, increasing the work that they are doing. So you've got 10 seconds left here. Nice and easy. So remember, breathing out. Breathing in. In three, two, and one. Okay, guys. So finding that ledge, if you can, we're going to do 40 seconds of work on one arm, and then we've got our 20 second rest, and then 40 seconds of work onto the other arm. So when you're ready, leaning up against that ledge, keep the elbow nice and close to the side, off we go. So breathe out as you extend the arm, breathe in as you bend it. So trying to keep that elbow up nice and high, we don't want it down here because that's not going to be doing anything. So breathe out, extend, breathe in as you bend. So we're just staying on this right side for now, or whatever side you're using, and then we will alternate on the other side. So you should be starting to feel it really working into that tricep. You've got 10 seconds left here. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Lovely work, guys. So changing onto the other side now. So this time we're gonna be working the other tricep. Again, we've got 40 seconds of work, then our 20 seconds rest, then we're going back to those bicep curls. So we are off again in five, four, three, two, and one. So keeping that elbow nice and high, extending, and then bending. So breathe out as you come into that tricep extension, breathe in as you bend it down. So remember we want to keep the elbow up nice and high as you extend, and then bending. There we go. So no slipping of the elbow, keep it up. You're halfway there. Really squeeze onto that tricep as you extend. Lovely work. Keeping that going, 10 more seconds, and then we get our little 20 second rest. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, good work, guys. So back to those bicep curls. We've got 15 seconds before we start again. This is your last round of arms, and then we're on to our cardio finisher. So you are nearly done. Keep up that great work. Don't stop now. So we're going again, bicep curls in three, two, and one. So breathe out, curl up, breathe in as you release. Really try squeezing onto whatever it is you're holding. You'll start to feel that your arms are really working. You might even be able to feel your triceps working now. So keeping that moving, we're halfway, nearly there. Your last bicep exercise here. Ten seconds to go. Nearly there, guys. Well done. In five, four, three, two, and one. Relax those arms. So popping down one of your weights, keeping hold of the other one, ready to go into those tricep extensions again. So find that ledge, find the table, the edge of your sofa, whatever it is that you're using. We are going again in five, four, three, two, and one. So breathe out, extend, breathe in, and bend. Don't let that elbow drop, keep it up nice and high. We just want to be working the tricep, so only the forearm is moving here. Excellent work. Halfway, nearly done. Ten. 
10 seconds left, don't let the elbow drop, keep it up as much as you can, squeeze that tricep in four, three, two, one, and rest. Excellent work, changing arms now. So you've got about 15 seconds before we come onto the other side, and then that is your muscle work done for the day. We've just got our little cardio round to finish. So, when you're ready, we're going in five, four, three, two, and one, off we go. This is your last 40 seconds of work onto that other tricep, so keeping that going. Elbow stays up nice and high. So obviously, ideally, I would have a bench or a ledge here, but just to show you guys, I am just seem to be floating in the middle of the room. <laughs> we're over halfway, we're nearly there. This is your last exercise, keep it going. We've got 10 seconds left. Elbow stays up guys, don't let it drop. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done guys, that is it. How are you all feeling? Freddie says so good, amazing, thank you. We've got a, a hello, average bloke. I'm afraid I don't know your name, but I'm glad to see that you're feeling great. Well done guys. All right, so we now have our cardio finisher. So what we're going to do is five burpees, 10 in and out jumps and 15 cross jumps, and then we are done. That is all we're doing. So, <laughs> James, I hurt. Wait for this. <laughs> okay, guys, so I will quickly run you through what each of these exercises are. So the first one, we have burpees. It's entirely up to you how you want to do your burpee. So you can do a half burpee, hands come onto the floor, jump in and out and then up. So that would count as one. Or you can go into your full burpee, so chest to floor. So you come all the way down, arms are up off the floor, jumping up and then jumping up. So that is your full burpee. So I will be doing full burpees, five of them. You've only got to do five, so see if you can really push yourself. Second exercise, in and out jump squats. So, squatting down, you're gonna jump out into a wide stance and then in into a regular stance squat. So, that's one, two. So we're doing 10 of those straight after those burpees. And then to finish, we've got 15 cross jumps. So you're gonna be squatting down. You see my arms are crossed over here. And then you're gonna explode up into almost a star jump type. So squatting down, my arms are crossed, and then pushing up, jumping up. And we're doing 15 of those. So this is our last bit of exercise we are doing today. Push yourself, see what you can do. We're not being timed here. It's doing whatever you can. So I really hope you guys are ready to push yourselves. Five burpees. Are we ready? In three. Two, one, off we go. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Who completed the five burpees? All right, guys, so coming now onto those in and out squats. So remember, we wanna get low. We're jumping those feet out wide and then back into our normal stance. That is one. Okay, so we've got 10. Are we ready? In three, two, one, off we go. So out, in, that's one, two, three. Get lower, guys, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Well done. One last exercise, 15 of those cross jumps. Then we are finished, guys. You've got this. I know you can do it. Okay, so finding some space. Remember, arms are crossed over and then we're exploding up. 15 of those. Are we ready? We're going in five, four, three, two, and one. So squatting down. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're nearly there, guys. Keep going. Ten. Don't give up. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Last one. Fifteen. We've made it. Excellent work, guys. How was that? Are you all feeling okay? Grab yourself some water. All right, we'll just do a couple of stretches now to finish. So we're gonna start by trying to calm down our breath. So breathing in for two seconds, holding for four, breathe out for two. So breathing in, holding, and breathe out for two. Doing the same again. So breathing in. One last one. Excellent work, guys. So just starting to stretch out a little bit then. Rolling the shoulders back. Keep that breathing going if you can. And then rotate them the other way. Lovely work. We're now going to come into a shoulder stretch. So taking one arm across the body, the other arm is going to come up and help pull it. You should feel a bit of a stretch into the shoulder here. Try and relax that arm down. Holding that there, keeping that breathing. Excellent work. Changing arms. So the same onto the other side, pulling that arm back, breathing in. Lovely work. We're just coming to a tricep stretch now. So everyone grab their right hand. Your right hand is going to come onto your back. Your left hand is going to come up onto your elbow and you're going to push down with that left hand on your elbow. And you should feel a stretch down the back of your right arm into your tricep. So try and keep that breathing going. Heart rate should be coming back down to normal by now. Give your arms a little shake and we'll do the same onto the other side. So, left arm is going to come onto your back. Right arm is coming up onto that elbow. You're going to push down with your right hand onto your left elbow and stretching down the back of that left arm. Lovely work, guys. So, thank you so, so much for joining us today. Keep that breathing going. If you find that your heart is still racing, keeping that 242 breathing going, it will reduce back down. Sitting down, remember, take some water after that. That was quite intense at the end. So, thank you guys for joining, and I really hope you enjoyed that. If you have any workouts that you would like us to do, please send us a DM, let us know, and we'll be sure to sort that out. Either way, we'll be back again same time tomorrow, so 12 p.m., come and join us. We'll be doing a lower body session. So we have just done our upper body session with our little pretend dumbbells. We'll be doing the same, but with lower body. So are you here tomorrow? Yes, same time tomorrow, lower body session. So please make sure, just as we asked yesterday, tell your friends, get your family involved. I really, really hope that you can help us spread the word to as many people as possible, especially now that we're not actually allowed to go outside. We want to keep our motivation up. We want to keep our happiness and positivity up. So getting that exercise in is really gonna help with the endorphins. So thank you so much for joining us guys. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Take care.